Hello friends, today we'll talk about flat foot in children. I think it's an important topic because it concerns the most vulnerable population and the most loving population that we have is our children. And if children are affected by something, we as parents get very very concerned and rightfully so. So first thing I would like to tell you these two main important points about flat feet in children. Majority of flat feet in children are normal. Normal means it is by birth and it will Im improve as the child grows and this is called as physiological flat foot. Now this is a flexible flat foot also. So this flexible physiological flat foot agar, if we say in layman terms is that the flat foot is correctable when the child stands on his toes the arch completely forms again but as soon as he stands on his feet the arch drops and that's called as a physiological flat foot. Now the, f the vast majority of children have physiological flat foot which is a normal flat foot and which does not require any treatment and this is what we have to stress that sometimes we tend to give treatment to these physiological uh, flat feet children in the form of arch supports or in the form of special shoes uh, sometimes called as pronator shoes we don't need all that all it tells the child when we do this is that his feet are abnormal and we don't want him to give that impression so if we give special shoes to the children it actually makes them slower so we have to encourage them to increase activity even if they are flat footed then you know it is increased activity is the treatment and not special shoes or decrease in activity and that's the important point first one point I would like to stress now we have to talk about how we have to differentiate between a physiological or a normal flat foot which does not have does not cause any problems for majority of patients in the whole lifetime and the pathological flat foot or the rigid flat foot which can cause problems early in life now I would like to say that the rigid flat foot is only about 1% of all flat foot cases is rigid flat foot 99% of all flat foot cases are physiological flat foot so if your child has a flat foot it is likely that he has a physiological flexible flat foot which does not require any special treatment unless your child is having any problems with it now the pathological flat foot is a rigid flat foot and will not correct the heel will go out and the arch will drop and it will not correct uh, either by manipulation or when he stands on his toes and if it is not correcting it is wise to see a foot and ankle specialist or an orthopedic surgeon to have a uh, opinion uh, whether this requires any treatment uh, at that stage so uh, if as I said majority of children have a physiological flat foot and that is not a cause for worry so if you have any doubts you should visit a foot, foot and angle specialist to clear your doubts and as I said in majority of cases nothing to worry about okay